Hello, I'm Bradley Houston with C2 Art Advisors. We manage the collection here at BNSF in Fort Worth, as well as across the entire US system. And we're here today to give you a brief highlights tour of a select group of masterpieces throughout the collection. Starting, of course, here with this sweeping view of the Grand Canyon by female artist Edith Hamlin. Hamlin was a very important artist of the early part of the 20th century, gaining notoriety in the 1930s for the Works Progress Administration murals that she commissioned, or were commissioned from her. And BNSF collected this work, commissioned this work especially from Hamlin in 1945. It was eventually installed in the Chicago office in 1947 making its way here to Fort Worth in the 1990s when this building was completed. And it really is just a, such a stunning view of the Grand Canyon, which is a hallmark vista of the, night, of the American development of this country and of the collection overall. And we'll have many more views of the Grand Canyon throughout the whole headquarters. And we'll, we'll continue on here to view a few other highlights of the collection moving forward. The BNSF Art Collection has approximately 700 paintings in total, in addition to photographs, works on paper, ceramics, and other artifacts of railroad history. And of the paintings, we have a large selection of works by E.I. Kaus, this one, Grinding Corn, being one of the most important, not, not least of which because of the presence of the Santa Fe Railroad logo right there at the top left. And this gives you this sense of the linkage between the artists and the history, the economic development of the railroads across the century, of uh, the late 19th, early 20th centuries. E.I. Kaus actually worked directly with the advertising executives at the Santa Fe Railroad at the time to create this piece that eventually would be reproduced across the system in calendars, in posters, in advertisements for the railroad to encourage tourist traffic out to what, what was in this case the Southwest. And in case you didn't see the logo on the first try, Kaus actually adds a little arrow right here to lead your eye directly over to the logo so that no matter what, if you're engaging with this scene of Native Americans grinding corn, you're also engaging with the life and culture of the Santa Fe Railroad. Our final stop on the art collection tour today shows you one of the large scale masterpieces from one of the most prolific artists in our collection, John Ferry. Ferry was the most heavily commissioned artist by the Burlington Northern Line of what is now BNSF, just as E.I. Kaus, who we saw before, was the most prolific of the Santa Fe Line. And as a way of generating tourist traffic, again, the Burlington Northern also had this idea to commission these grand artworks that would show the stunning views of the Western United States as a way to encourage tourist traffic on the railroad to see these vistas for the very first time. And you have to understand that most people in the Eastern United States would have only seen these images for the very first time in these railroad paintings and their subsequent reproductions. So they would have looked very much like a foreign landscape, despite the fact that they exist here in our very own country. And here you see Ferry really at the height of his artistic powers with a very much impressionistic style of painting in the breaststroke of the trees and on the foreground here, but simultaneously with a very distinctly American point of view, an American nat natural and national landscape that he really was so adept at painting. He went to the Glacier National Park in Montana over 300 times, painted scene after scene after scene of these grand landscapes, in this case, Chief Mountain there in the National Park. And in this way, you really see him going back to what is the most iconic view of America, the most iconic view in this case of the Burlington Northern subject matter, and why these railroads were successful in their time to generate tourist traffic out toward the Western United States. And that concludes the, this portion of our tour of the art collection today. And we thank you so much for your time and your interest.